this video is going to be for replacing the cylinder head temperature sensor on a 1996 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic with the Evolution motor. The sensor is actually located in the front cylinder head. You have to take your gas tank loose and you don't have to take it off completely but just lift it up kind of out of the way and you should be able to get a socket down there on it. Um, but first things first, we need to take the seat off. I've already taken the screw out of it. We also want to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Let's go ahead and pull that off and that will also reset our codes. Now, over here, there's one bolt right here that this actually holds your, there's a bolt that runs completely through to hold your gas tank on. You're going to loosen that, take that all the way out. This, by the way, on my bike, the manual said that this was a T40 socket, but it actually turned out to be a uh, deep well 13 millimeter to take this bolt off. American bike metric metric bolts. Go figure. Now, just for record, I'm by no means a motorcycle mechanic. I'm just a guy who kind of likes to fix my own stuff when I can. And uh, you know, while that doesn't sound like it's really anything homestead related, working on a motorcycle. It, it, it kind of is in the fact that, um, you know, being a homesteader and handling and taking care of yourself and doing your own thing is, you know, a lot of it is uh, being able to and having the drive to, to fix your own stuff. So, looks like we may need to get some pliers. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to get... So uh, let me get the tools for that, and uh, when I come back, we'll have the gas tank off, or at least propped up. Well, after getting the bolt off of the other side, I'm kind of running into an issue here in that I can't pull the, the bolt all the way out, so I'm actually going to have to disassemble this lower and pull it off and then I should have plenty of room. Now on a regular Electroglide standard that you don't have these these lowers like this, you know, it should pull straight out. So more fairing, more work. Now to take these lower fairings off, we just simply have to take the outer cover like you see over there, which was two Phillips head screws. Take those right out and that will expose two 11 millimeter bolts. And once you take those off, there is one more bolt right there, just ahead of the uh, shifter. Then one bolt down on the frame and the lower will come off. All right. So here we are, we've got the, the gas tank blocked up with just a small little piece of wood and um, also we, I had to of course had a full tank of gas but there's a crossover underneath the, uh, I can't get the tripod down there, but anyway there's a crossover that uh, you have to take off in order to lift the gas tank up high enough. And, uh, of course, fuel goes running everywhere, so thankfully I had a nice long funnel and everything to catch that. So, the, to take the original sensor out is a three-quarter inch deep well socket. You go straight in the top of the cylinder well after you, you have to stick a screwdriver down in there to, and basically get it in that little hole, a flat tip screwdriver, to lift the clip up to unplug it. Then once you screw it out, 
that's what your part looks like, the old one. So because the JP cycle part was not correct, I had to run to two hours later now, an hour to the Harley dealer and an hour back. Thankfully, they had the part in stock for this. The new one goes right back down in there and you just thread it in. Use your three quarter socket to tighten it up and that's all there is to it and put it all back together.